here's the playback device on here we've got the set loaded and uh, we load it and we go into lock mode and as we play each song there's three outputs to running tonight it's got left and right for the track and output two is empty which is running to the uh, audio console and then onto the lighting desk for synchronization the drummer's taking his mix from the headphone out which is click and the backing track controlled by the two knobs on there so he's got a sub mixer over here if you can see that there's dom on the lights matt's got the proper job in the corner <laughs> he's got the proper oh, job so he's, he's taking empty audio from the uh, playback system on the stage coming out of the desk and where does it come Feeding through out Just of uh, my desk down an XLR into yeah. my desk over here. And what's this? This is acts like a, an audio interface to your laptop as well as the the yes, control. So yeah, that's basically acting like an audio interface into the desk where it's sending then sending the signal back via USB C into my laptop, where I can see it on my clock down here. So that's the clock you get from the um, yes, in the playback from device. The playback device, um, and then every time that reads a number that matches up with a cue, yeah. it will fire off that cue for me. So, uh, Brandon, can you just press play on any track? And that'll call up the project as well as the... Um... It will... That's it, I'm muted. It will fire it off, hopefully, in a minute. How long does it take to lock on? Oh, we've changed tracks. Do you have to call up the track then, so you... No, no, I don't have to call up the track at all. It should just take over. Dickhead, you've muted my time code. I'll <laughs> <laughs> put that in the outtakes video. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there we All go, right, time so code's gone. As soon as you get the time code, you can see so in the corner there. So if I move back over to Tainted Love, you can see that 130.26 or 130.11, and then that's 131. So when that, when that hits 131, we'll fire off the next cue, which should be the chorus. <laughs> One thirty one, yeah? Yeah, one thirty one. Still got a little ten seconds to go. And that's all done, does it? All night. Just looks like completely. Yeah, but that's it's a different thing he's looking at on his phone. There we go. <laughs> Just changed. There you go. Tinder. And, and as soon then, as the next song's though, can you uh, fire off another song? Boom, straight into back into the verse. Brandon! Okay, can you just call another song, please? Mm. And the time code's locked straight on. Strokes are locked into Come A Camellia. So is each one of these songs... Oh no, uh, whoa, whoa. He's activating a shitload now, I've still got time code activated. Right. <laughs> so what is it you see on the screen? Because this is obviously all the uh, scenes for a particular song. So all of the, so each one of these is a cue stack for each song. Yeah. And each song has its obviously it has its own time code stamp. So this one starts at 1.30. Come a chameleon starts at 1.45. Power of Love starts at 2. So what defines what's um, on that page now? Have you set up these or all? Why are they on this group and the next song on another page? So if it, well, like, like it just happened, if you start firing off a load of, uh, start firing off different time code tracks, it'll lock on play that sig like basically play that cue for me and until yeah. it has the signal to turn over to the next one it'll just keep going back to the same cue right and uh, another song's on another page yeah so the rest of the sets so this is the set one it's two pages then we have the interval and then we have another two and you obviously decide there. what's on what page then so it was actually in set set order cool so but even if we change, play back in a random order, it would uh, still... Yeah, even if you play back in a random order, time code would take over, find, match up the numbers to the track, well, to the song, and then fire it off for me. That's cool, isn't it? You'd be better off with that than Dom listening. What's that? Oh, the video? No, it's a book. All right. It's much more interesting than Dom, isn't it? I oh, know, I like Dom. He's got, he's got the... Uh... And then... And then... Special feature for tonight... Rainbow lights. Rainbow mode. Look at them booties. You pay extra for those. Oh, pa pound of light, is it? <laughs> we, we don't, the wild boys do. Get it to the rose cost. <laughs> Brilliant. There we go. That's cool. 
So basically, uh, you've got quite minimal to do then tonight. You've done all your homework. I've done all my homework and everything is set for tonight. Brilliant. The hardest bit about this gig is looking where we're going to eat. Yes. All right, yeah. Which needs to be done. Yeah, we'll look at that now. Is that that time of the night? Also, worst thing. 